loves? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little bit of some makeup therapy. I feel like anytime I'm going through something or anyone is going through something, it's always good to have some sort of distraction. And for me, that is makeup. Um, I'm just gonna be trying out a new brand today. I'm actually really excited for it and I'm excited for you guys to see um, kind of what this brand has to offer as well. So I hope you enjoy this video and if there is anything that you guys are going through in your life right now, hopefully this gets your mind off of it as well. So the brand that I'll be sharing is Lauren Conrad Beauty. Lauren Conrad actually just launched her beauty line at Kohl's and it's like literally a whole legit beauty line and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I've actually partnered up with Lauren Conrad Beauty in this video so they've kindly sponsored today's video um, which is also super dope. Thank you so much to them. Um, and they've been really great to work with. I mean, obviously a lot has been going on in my life and they've been super, this is like very off topic, but they've been super kind and just giving me all the time to get this content up for you guys. So I'm just really appreciative of that. But um, Lauren Conrad, I mean, has been around for years. I was pretty young when like Laguna Beach and The Hills came out, but all of my older cousins, Sada, all of them were like obsessed with her, specifically Sada, which she's actually in the other room, which is kind of funny right now. <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like I kind of just had an obsession with her because she was obsessed with her. So I have to read this off real quick because this really impressed me about the brand. So Lauren Conrad Beauty, it's a vegan, cruelty-free, certified clean, PETA approved and ethically sourced brand. Um, and it's formulated without parabens, synthetic fragrances and other harmful ingredients, um, which is really cool to see, especially with like a new makeup brand. Um, I feel like a lot of people are on the clean beauty kick, but you know, ethically sourced ingredients are so, so important as well. And I'm really happy to see that they really thought out everything, including all the packaging. All the packaging is like recyclable. They give you um, instructions on how to recycle the products online and everything. So very, very happy to see that. Without further ado, let's get started because my skin is actually very dry. I have not done my skincare routine this morning because I knew I wanted to try some of these on camera. So the first thing I'm gonna try is the Lauren Conrad Beauty, the toner mist, and it's for all skin types. So toner mists are cool because you don't have to like use your hands or a cotton pad or anything. So I'm literally just going to spray this all over the skin. So the toner mist is infused with licorice root extract and rose water, and it's honestly just a really nice hydrating mist. And then next they recommend to go in with the vitamin C oil. So I was really excited to see an oil in this line, especially with skincare, I love my oils. Um, but yeah, it says it's for all skin types. It says to squeeze a few drops of oil on the palms, gently massage onto freshly toned face and neck in an upward circular motion, and then follow with the, um, the Lauren Conrad Beauty face cream. Um, this is probably about the third or fourth time I've used it and I really like it. I feel like it actually absorbs it to the skin and it doesn't leave the face feeling greasy. And I actually used quite a bit, so I do really like that. And then I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer. Um, this is for dry to normal skin and it's just their face cream. My skin is loving this right now. Honestly, I'm not going for a super like full coverage look or anything. I'm gonna really try to emulate a couple of the photos that I saw on um, Lauren Conrad's beauty Instagram. Lauren Conrad Beauty's Instagram. I'm just gonna post some photos over here. It was literally just stunning. So I'm gonna do a very natural look um, using these products. So I'm just gonna move on to brows now. And I've actually been using this brow pencil ever since I got it for a couple weeks. Um, this is the eyebrow pencil in light brown and light brown is like the perfect shade for me. You guys know I love to use like lighter browns for my brows. And I actually find this brow pencil to be really easy to use. It's not too waxy to the point where like you're like grabbing at your brows but it also doesn't disperse too much product to where it's chunky. You guys know I always like to carve my brows, so I'm gonna go in with the concealer, and this is in the shade 6.0, and it says to shake well because it is kind of more on the liquidy side. I have some just like SPF over here, just my regular one that I use on a daily basis, and Lauren Conrad Beauty came out with these little guys. They're the Skin Individual Tint, and they're kind of like custom, tint drops like that you can like adjust with your concealer or foundation like if it's too light um, or too dark you can kind of use this to make your custom shade so I'm going to use this and kind of mix it in with my SPF literally just like one I'm also going to put a tiny literally the smallest bit because this is actually really dark the tiniest little drop of 
the deepest one and then I'm gonna mix this together in my hands and just apply it on the skin. So again, it's not gonna give me like a ton of coverage because that's not really what I'm going for, but it is going to balance out the SPF on my skin and leave a nice base for the concealer to apply. Moving on to the concealer, um, I'm gonna use the shade seven this time. I used six under my brows, but now I'm gonna use seven because this is closer to my skin tone and it's just gonna like really even out everything. So, I'm gonna squeeze this directly under my eyes and also a little bit around my mouth. And with the areas around my mouth, I'm actually gonna use this skin individual tint and do like one drop on each side just because my mouth is a little bit darker than the rest of my face, so I just kind of want to ensure that it's nice and even. Okay, so sorry about the angle change and everything. Um, like I said, the lighting was really playing me, so I had to move a couple things around, but I feel like this concealer actually did a really good job at just being a foundation in general. Like I probably could have skipped out on using the skin tint um, with my SPF because this actually gave me really beautiful coverage and it's like very even coverage as well. Um, I am gonna experiment with the lighter shade of the concealer just to see if I can get a little bit of a highlight going. So I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand and just use my beauty blender to put a little bit under my eyes. And the lighter shade is in number six and what I used everywhere else was number seven. So the concealer does only come in eight shades, but I feel like it's a pretty even range and you know if you ever wanted to make it a little darker a little lighter the the skin tints actually do a really good job or what is this called skin individual tint <laughs> so i'm pretty happy with how that looks uh before i go in with any powders there are some of these skin or these uh lip and cheek tints one is in plum and one is in peony and i don't know something about peony just really speaks to me it's like this really beautiful pink color and you can use this either on your lips or your cheeks. So I'm actually just gonna put a little bit on my lips right now because it is quite moisturizing. I've been loving the kind of like glowy cheek look lately. So this might actually be really pretty and kind of give me a highlight at the same time while wow, it's pretty. Okay, that is actually stunning. I feel like the shade Peony doesn't show up too much on my skin tone, but just the glow that it gives like it's like glass skin or something. That's actually so, so pretty. And it didn't really remove or mess up my um, foundation or concealer either. So she came out with two different eyeshadow palettes. This one is my personal favorite. It's in the shade Sunrise. And it's just filled with these gorgeous, like warm toned colors, as you can see. So I'm gonna do a fairly simple look. I'm probably just gonna go into like this shade and maybe a little bit of the deeper shade um, and maybe a little sparkle in the inner corner. All right, I know I said I love the glowy look, but I'm actually gonna use a little bit of powder because I feel like it's getting a little too intense since it's actually like hotter than summer outside in LA. Um, and Lauren Conrad Beauty actually came out with some powders as well. And I have the shade Medium over here. I also have Deep, which I'm probably gonna use on the rest of my skin if I decide to. And then just very lightly powder under my eyes. Just to take away just a touch of that shine. Okay, I actually really like this powder in deep. I feel like it could almost be used as like a powder foundation. I put a little bit on the back of my hand and I feel like it really just smoothed and evened out my complexion there, but it still is leaving a glow. Like I put the powder everywhere and it still is leaving a really, like it's showing through that glow. So love that. I'm gonna move on to powder blush now because I need a little color in these cheeks. So this is her powder blush. It comes in this really cute like envelope looking package. And um, this is in the shade Peach. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush, dip that in, and then put on my cheeks. Ooh, I think I put a little too much, it's very pigmented. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do eyeliner for this look because I did want to keep it very natural, but I feel like this 
could not have been a video on Lauren Conrad Beauty without eyeliner. She is known for her iconic wing. So I am gonna use this. I've used this a couple times and I actually really like it. It's super thick, or not thick, sorry. It's super dark, super black, and it's really easy to use. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a baby wing, mainly just so that when I put on mascara, you know, it looks nice and thick, but I don't want it to look too overpowering. That's literally all I'm gonna do. There's the tiniest little baby wing. This applicator literally makes it so easy to get super precise, but it is very dark and very black, so proceed with caution. The wings got a little bit larger than I had intended, but you know, at least they're even now. So that's okay. It was actually really easy to use. I just got a little too overzealous. And you know, when you just kind of like keep going at it when you know you, you should stop. And then this is what happened. So we're gonna move on to the mascara. The mascara actually, probably one of my favorite products from the entire line. Um, I really, really like it. It's just a very simple mascara, like kind of like a, bristled brush it's not like that hard plastic and it does a really good job with my lashes actually before that i'm going to use the eyeliner in the line as well this is just called the eyeliner pencil in onyx and i'm just going to tight line my eye another method that i like to use is i just put the mirror that i'm using like literally directly under my chin um so that my lashes don't even have a chance of hitting my lid and then I apply the mascara. Like I'm not wearing any falsies, just with the mascara and the eyeliner, it just makes my lashes look so defined and so pretty. I'm not gonna put any on the bottom lashes for now. I may later, but for now, I'm actually really liking just how this is looking on its own. Um, but I am gonna move on to highlight. So she does have a one cream highlighter. It's in the shade Pearl. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. And I like this because it has gold flecks and not silver flecks, so it's more on the warm side, so it actually will work for deeper shades. Um, and just like any shade in general, I feel like it's actually really um, nice and versatile. So I'm gonna just put some, I mean, my cheeks are already quite glowy from that liquid high, uh, blush, but I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheek over here. So pretty. I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and take this middle shade over here on a really small brush and just put this in my inner corner. Last but not least, we can move on to lips and she came out with two different formulas. So glosses, which you guys know I'm a gloss girl, so I will likely be going with this, but I do wanna also share the lipsticks and the lipsticks come in eight different shades. So they have like reds and mauves and nudes and stuff that will work for a lot of different skin tones. And then she came out with glosses and I believe there are six gloss formulas or shades, I mean. Okay, actually there are five different glosses. Uh, this one is my favorite, it's the clear one, um, but it just has such a really nice formula. But I am actually gonna try one of the colored ones today, and this is in the shade Dawn. So, let's see how this one looks. So Dawn is actually really pretty. It's like this peachy pink color um, that is definitely more on the sheer side, but it has some gold flecks in it, so. It's really, really beautiful, um, but I am going to try out the actual bullet lipstick. Okay, so this one I'm gonna try in the shade Garnet, and it is like this deep berry maroon color, so hopefully this looks good. Oh wow, that is so pigmented. I feel like I need I need to use a, a mirror super up close so that I don't mess up my lips. Okay, I did not apply that very clean, but this color is so beautiful. I feel like this would be so stunning for the holiday time. How pretty is that? And like, it's so pigmented, like it completely covered up my pigmented lips. It's like super even. It is matte, but it's like a comfortable matte finish. I actually am really impressed with these bullet lipsticks. Oh my God, that is so gorgeous. 
and it makes my teeth look super white, even though they're not, they're actually quite yellow. I need to get them professionally cleaned very soon. <laughs> but anyways, with that, that is basically my entire tutorial and review on Lauren Conrad Beauty. So again, it is available at Kohl's if you guys wanna check it out. They have it on Kohl's.com and also in select stores. Um, but I'm honestly really impressed. I'm excited to see what more Lauren Conrad comes out with with her beauty line. Um, you know, it's really cool that she made this all clean, cr cruelty-free, ethically sourced, all of that good stuff, recyclable. Um, it's just a very like conscious brand, which is much needed in today's climate. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions on the line or anything else, you can leave them in the comments down below, but I am gonna go take a couple selfies because I'm really feeling myself and feeling this entire look. Um, and yeah, I will have all of the products that I used listed and linked down below. And yeah, thank you again to Lauren Conrad Beauty for partnering with me in this video. And I will talk to you guys in my next one, everyone. Bye.